Scribblenauts. Scribblenauts is an action puzzle uh, game. It's, we're calling it an emergent action game. Um, the whole premise of the game is that you can write anything, literally anything. There's tens of thousands of words in the game. Um, right now he's playing an action level. There's 220 levels in the game and uh, he's going to write Chainsaw. And the point of the game is to get that character, Maxwell, which is you, um, to the starite. The starite's stuck in a tree and he can't reach it, but he can just chop down a tree. Really simple. And uh, he, got the, he got the star right. So he just beat the level with the chainsaw. Um, now he's going to try something different. What are you going to try, Matt? Beaver. Beaver's a good example. Beavers love wood. We all know that. Um, so Beaver's going to eat the tree, chop it down. Very simple. You can literally do anything you want. Um, you know, you could write match, and a match is going to work. Um, you could throw a ball. A ball would work. Uh, you can do anything you want. Uh, let's go to, that was an action level. We're going to go really quick to a puzzle level. Uh, with the puzzle levels, you don't actually see the star right. That's the difference between the puzzle level and the action levels. On a puzzle level now, it gives you a hint. And on the hint, this says give two, or, two of them what they would use in their hands. So you got four professions. you got a cop, a uh, chef, a fireman, and a doctor. And what they want you to do is they, they need two things. So what Matt's going to write is going to give them two things that their profession would like. So scaffold would work. And just all you gotta do is just drag it right to the doctor. That's one thing. Um, and then the next thing you would write is like a gun. You could have a gun and give it to the cop. The cop's gonna pick it up. You don't even have to drag it to the cop. He just he'll pick it up automatically because that's what a cop does. He wants a gun. It's very very simple. Um, what's awesome about this game is he solved it that way. Now if he wants to go back into the level. He has to find two new words to do because he can't use the words that he just did. That's, that's how we add to the replayability. Um, another thing that's awesome is the uh, we have a whole level editor. So you can go to any of these levels, edit them, do whatever you want, and share them online with Wi-Fi uh, or local. There's another a, um, uh, puzzle level. So there's a whale, and he needs to be rescued. So you can write anything you want. Let's see how he'd, how he'd rescue him. Bulldozer is a favorite of mine. I mean, this is a you know, 20 ton whale or how much whales weigh, I don't know. And just gets in it. Yeah, just walking in, just like walking, you just tap around and vehicles will move. He's gonna push it in the water, just where the whale wants to go. Very, very simple, got the star right. So he's gonna go get the star right really quick. And we're gonna try the level with something completely different. Uh, as you can see, there's also merits in the game. So just like achievements, uh, you can do basically, there's, there's around 80, 90 different merits. It all depends on how you beat the level. If you don't use weapons, you're gonna get the no weapons merit. If you don't, uh, if you ride animals, you're gonna get you know, the, the mounting merit. So he's gonna write balloon. What's awesome is there's a different system for homonyms. So there's balloon, like the one you hold in your hand, that floats, and then there's the hot air balloon. So he attached the little balloon to it, just for fun. <laughs> That's gonna take a while. <laughs> and what's really cool is you don't even need to, uh, yeah, again, homonym system with the fan versus the tool. So, a fan's actually pushing the whale back. And he's a little lighter because of the balloon. Yeah, he's lighter because of the balloon. So the whale, there you go, and he pushed him in. Yeah. We don't, I've never actually seen that solved that way. That's the first time I've ever seen anybody solve that. And uh, another great thing about this game is that right from the beginning, right from the get-go, you turn on the boot up the game, and you go right to the, uh, the title screen, and you can write anything and just play around there. It's just total sandbox mode. There's no objective. You just screw around, have fun. So this is, this is the title screen. He's gonna write fighter jet. All right, fighter jet. Why not? He's gonna ride in it. Why not? And enemy, enemy. Oh, he's gonna start attacking the, the enemy. <laughs> oh, I busted a wheel. You busted a wheel. That's nice. But literally, this is what this game is about. You could write, I mean, you could even write like Death like death or Grim Reaper or Box. That's really boring, but you could write it. <laughs> this is Grim Reaper. Nice. So, yeah. I mean, that's what this game is about. It's all about freedom of expression, freedom of creation, doing whatever you want. That's pretty neat. Grappling hook? Sure, why not? Waffle iron. Waffle iron? Why not? Let's do waffle iron. You got him. I hope you have He's got him tethered. That's great. That's what I love about this game is you can literally do whatever you want. So waffle iron, he said waffle iron. Can you do waffle iron? 
Is he gonna stump it? And there you go, waffle iron. And it's and it can cook stuff. It's got a little heat heat waves going off. Scrubber Knots will be released this fall. It's published by Warner Brothers and uh, developed by Pistel.